Right guys, I had a video planned for you guys on F123 today where I tried to win a race against the AI using all three driving inputs. So I would start on the wheel, pit, go onto the controller, pit again, and then go onto the keyboard. But I had an absolute nightmare recording that video. So instead, we're going to be doing another challenge on F123. And I thought of a pretty interesting one. Can I lap the AI in a 50% race whilst using all five compounds of tires? Okay, so our track of choice for this video is going to be Canada, our driver of choice. This is a mission that we've set ourselves. So we're going to be driving as Mr. L Plan himself, Fernando Alonso, and we're going to be using the lowest difficulty possible, which is 0% AI. I think it could be possible even on zero. Okay then guys, so we're starting on the softs, then the mediums, then the hards, then the intermediates, then the full wet compounds of tires. Let's get into this race and see if it's possible to lap the entire field whilst using all five tires. Let's go. All right then guys, here we go. We've got five red lights at the Canadian GP. This lights out and away we go. Get an absolute rocket launch of a start. And this is all about building up as much of a gap as we can, as quick as we can, because we're going to be pitting a lot during this Grand Prix. So that means that every time we pit, we're going to have to build up a humongous gap. All right, just about to end the first lap. And we're already nine and a half seconds away from Verstappen. Of course, Verstappen was the only person we couldn't get 10 seconds ahead. Okay, so we've got one warning already. Not ideal, uh, but to be honest, this is a case of trying to lap the entire field. I don't really think getting penalties is going to matter too much in this video. Okay, it seems as if the times are settling down a little bit. We're roughly about 35 seconds ahead of the AI right now. It's lap four. So we'll see if we can gain that four seconds. It looks like we might be able to actually. Looking at how quickly we're gaining on Verstappen. Okay, so yeah, I would say we're roughly gaining about 10 seconds a lap on the AI right now on these soft compounds. And that gap is probably going to get smaller and smaller as, as we get on the other compounds. But if we can maintain that, I think we should be okay. Because I mean, we're already a pit stop ahead. We're already more than two pit stops ahead, I think. Okay, we are catching up incredibly quickly. Now, obviously, we're going to be pitting a lot during this Grand Prix. I mean, I think we're pretty easily going to be able to do this. Maybe I'm underestimating how much time you lose in the pits. I don't know. But we're already on the back of the grid after only six laps. If that's the case, then maybe we will just generally see how many times we could lap the AI using all five compounds of tires? I don't know. All right, well, this is going to be our final lap on the sauce. We're going to move to the mediums after this lap. And that's, that's our first stint done. And I think by the end of the first stint, we would have already lapped at least a couple cars. There we go. You can see now we're at the back of Logan Sargent already after only seven laps. So we're going to lap quite a decent amount of this field. All right, see you later, Stroll. See you later, Joe. We'll wait until after the hairpin hit. Or maybe not. All right, see you later, guys. We've lapped five cars already. Pop into the pits. We're going to lose our lap advantage. But we're going on to the mediums now. And we're going to do another seven laps on these tires. Oh, the like I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this game, guys. Especially, you know, when we, when we, when we pit and we're just coming out of the pits. Yeah, sure, the tires are cold, but at least the car still is drivable. At least you can still turn the car into corners and you're not just fighting for your life against the car itself when you're coming out of the pits. Unlike F122, where it's a literally a Royal Rumble between you and the car when you first come out of the pits. Oh my unbelievable okay, yeah, this is way easier than I thought. I'm not going to lie. Um, if I had actually done this idea from the start, I probably would have planned it more. But considering this was a last minute thing, I didn't expect it to be that easy. So I think what we should just do now is because I think I'm going to be able to lap them all. Let's just see how many times I can lap the AI whilst using all five compound tires in a 35% a 35 lap race. All right, see you later, oh, Ocon. We've got your teammate next. We've got a bunch of cars next, actually. We've got Magnuson as well. 
I'll try and get Magnuson at the hairpin. And then Bottas after the hairpin. Oh, see you later, boys. Right, we've got Charles Lecher out of the way. We need to get Lando Norris out of the way, too. How many times are we going to be able to... If, guys, no cheating. No cheating. Comment down below right now. How many times do you think I'm going to be able to lap the AI during this race? And make sure you don't cheat because I'm watching you do it right now. Like, you, you might not see it, but I'm actually watching you right now. And I can see you if you're cheating. So don't cheat. Oh, there you go. Um, we've only used the softs and the mediums. And we've already lapped 0% AI. So yeah, I, I, I guess we just have to see how many more times I can do it. Okay, with this kind of pace that we're doing... Um, I think that we're going to be able to come out of the pits still a lap ahead of Verstappen by the time we pit in just under three laps time. Or should I say just over three laps time? If we're still gaining roughly 10 seconds a lap, which I think we are, then yeah, we're probably looking at being maybe roughly 10, 20 seconds still ahead of a lapped Verstappen by the time we get out of the pits. We're still going faster on the mediums than we did on the softs. Yeah, we, we must be pulling still more than 10 seconds a lap to these guys. Someone's gone into the pits. Don't know who that is. Looks like it's uh, essentially a, an Alpine. But we're going to hop into the pits as well. And we're going to head on for the hard compound of tires now, losing another 20 seconds. But I guess at this point, it really doesn't matter. All right, here we go on the hard compounds now. It'll be very interesting to see how long it takes us to catch back up to that pack and start lapping the cars again. Oh, here we go. We've caught up to Piastri already. Uh, boom, got past him. Next victim is Kevin. Poor old K-Mag being lapped for the second time already. It's only been like, it, it's only been like 15, 16 laps. And he's getting lapped again. Alonso is clearly the quickest Formula 1 driver of all time. All right, see you later, Sergeant. Who's that? Stroll once again. The freeze slows down. Joe, slow down there, buddy. Oh, we're almost going to the back of him. All right, catching up to the rest of the pack now. Albon, what are you doing, mate? Okay, that was a close call. Gasly's defending. I don't know why you're defending on blue flags. It's a bit weird. We'll skip past Bottas now. We've all we've lapped more than half of the field twice already. Next up is P6 Leclerc and then P5 Norris. We'll try and get Norris going into the first corner. He slows down. Brilliant. There we go. That's most of the drivers now. I mean, we do have one retirement, so technically that has made it a little bit easier. Next, we've got Lewis. I don't think Lewis ever expected this at McLaren. When he first joined Formula 1, I don't think he was expecting his old teammate to come back and lap him twice in one race. Ass is getting manipulated, man. All right, here we go, Verstappen. We're going to lap Verstappen for the second time. I can't believe this. This this was uh, way easier than I was expecting it to be. Let's just say that. I was expecting this to actually be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe I should have done this on 50% AI or something. All right, well, we're halfway through our final lap on the slick tires. I'm gonna lose again another 23 seconds, roughly. I don't think that's enough for Verstappen to get the position back. So we're gonna be two laps ahead of Max when we exit the pits on intermediate tires. That's when we're gonna see how the pace is between myself on the intermediates and the AI on slicks, because they're still on slicks right now. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to be enough for Verstappen, because he's still got to get through the Wall of Champions. There we go. 23 seconds once again. Come out two laps ahead of Max. Absolutely bonkers. I wasn't expecting this to be so easy. Oh, well, we're starting to overheat on the Inters now. And since Canada has a lot of traction zones, that should slow us down a little bit. As we get past Joe for the third time. Was 0% always this slow? I feel like they were a little bit quicker on F122. Maybe not. As we go past Stroll once again. Lapping our teammate three times. Not sure why. This what has happened? We need to know who's going to come out in front. As we see Lance Stroll hitting the barrier and going over the curb one more time. I know his father owns the company, but still at that point. 
I think even your own father should turn his back against you. All right, Geisley slowly gets out of the way. Bottas slows down, gets out of our way. Thank you. Next up, Piastri. He went out of the way and then came back on the racing line. What's he doing? And I was kind enough to start the hashtag stop Piastri abuse. No, I think we should continue it now. All right. That is our stint on the intermediate stand. We have one final tire to move on to. That's the full wets. As we uh, get a five second, play, uh, five second penalty for speed in the pits. Wonderful. There we go. Final tire. We're on the full wets. We have five seconds worth of penalties for our troubles as well. And we are still ahead of most of the cars that we lapsed. Okay, so this is going to be the toughest tire of them all. Because they're going to overheat very, very quickly. As we get our second warning of the race. Might actually end up with eight seconds worth of penalties here. Yeah, it's, it's only been two laps and my rear left is already overheating. Yeah, these next five laps aren't going to be pretty. But we still can probably lap Verstappen for the third time. He's just going into turn two right now. So yeah, I definitely think it's possible. There we go. That's most of the grid laps for the third time. I think all we have to do now is lap Norris, Hamilton and Verstappen. But it is getting increasingly more difficult with these tires. I am not feeling any grip through the corners. Okay, we might actually not lap Verstappen for the third time. He might actually be too far. Considering how worse for wear our tires are right now, um, I don't think we're gonna have the grip to be able to catch him up. In Hamilton, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely happening over the course of the next lap. But Verstappen, yeah, I actually think he might be too far. Okay, yeah, the tires are <laughs> the tires are completely shot. We're not gonna be able to lap Verstappen again. So it's two times for Verstappen, but three times for the rest of the field maybe even hamilton might get us back technically because we do have that five second penalty okay well i mean it's a it's a final lap mark so no let's see if we can build up a five second gap on two straights and two corners technically by dumping all of our ers we got close to lapping verstappen for the third time but we're not gonna make it we cross the line and there we go so the answer is three times for the most of the grid and then twice for Verstappen. Well, there you go, guys. We used all five compounds of tires that the game has to offer, and we managed to lap the entire field three times, except for Max Verstappen. We only managed to lap twice, and that includes Lewis. We actually managed to build a five-second gap using our ERS towards the end of the race there. So, yeah, guys, I don't know what to say. This wasn't the original video idea I had in mind, but it, it's the video you guys ended up with due to some technical issues that i had while i was recording the other one i hope you did enjoy this video make sure to smash the like button and i would like to thank everyone who is currently a channel member it's highly appreciated that you guys are supporting the channel if you want to help support the channel along with these names and get yourself up on these uh, on this section during the end of the video make sure to click the join button to find out more on how you can support this channel and i'll see you guys for my next f123 video